Hey everyone, how's it going? Matthew Kadish here from the Salty Nerd Podcast, and uh, we got some interesting news as you can see today. Uh, so as you know, one of the big strategies for uh, Disney Plus, the Disney streaming service, are uh, Marvel shows. And we're, uh, they were announced a long time ago that we're going to be getting all types of shows from Marvel Studios uh, exclusively for the streaming network. And one of those shows was She-Hulk. Now you would think that in casting She-Hulk, it would be kind of difficult because you kind of need like a big, muscular woman. In fact, uh, you would think that someone like Gina Carano, who plays Cara Dune in The Mandalorian, would be uh, more tailored for a role like this. However, Marvel, as usual, has uh, surprised us and gone with casting a very interesting actress in the role. So it was just announced that Tatiana Mansley is going to be playing She-Hulk in the new Marvel series. And I am very excited about this casting rumor, or I should say casting announcement, it's no longer a rumor. Um, she kind of came out of left field. A lot of people were kind of like tossing around a lot of different names for this role. Uh, Adrian Padalecki, uh, who uh, was originally cast in the pilot for Wonder Woman when it was going to be a TV show. You know, she's a very big, tall Amazonian type woman. Um, and there were a couple other kind of like off the wall speculations that were going to be for uh, this character. Um, but uh, Tatiana Mansley is, is kind of interesting because she's not big and muscular. Uh, she's a very petite woman, but she's an incredible actress. And I think that's the real thing that we got to keep in mind here uh, from Marvel's perspective. They really kind of go after uh, the good actors and then try to tailor the, the character to the actors themselves. And uh, Tatiana Man Mansley here is an incredible actress. If you've ever seen her in the show Orphan Black, uh, you'll know for a fact that she has some real acting chops on her. In that show, she played like five or six different characters, sometimes like in the same scene where she was acting with herself. <laughs> I mean, it was really incredible stuff. And, uh, you know, she was most recently in the HBO Perry Mason uh, TV series, which I didn't think was all that good, but she was pretty good in it for what they gave her to do. And, uh, the only criticism I'd really have in this casting announcement is that she's just, she doesn't look the part of She-Hulk. You know, she's a, a dainty, feminine woman. Um, and I, I don't know if they're going to, you know, kind of bulk her up with CGI when, when she hulks out. I know in the comics, She-Hulk is, is pretty much in Hulk form pretty much constantly, right? So it's going to be interesting to see how they handle this. Is it going to be one of those things where she plays herself through most of the show and then in certain segments they just CGI you know, her out to, to be the Hulk, the She-Hulk? Uh, I don't know. But this comes from Deadline, and uh, this is just recent news. It says, exclusive. After tapping Kat Corio as director, Marvel Studios looks to have found its star to take over the role in its She-Hulk series. Sources tell Deadline that Orphan Black star Tatiana Mansley is the choice to play the title character in Marvel's She-Hulk series for Disney+. Deadline broke on Tuesday that Corio, Corio? I don't know how to pronounce that, would direct several episodes, including the pilot, for the series, and now the show has its actress in the highly coveted role. Marvel did not immediately return a call for comment. Rick and Morty writer Jessica Gao has already been tapped to lead the writer's room. So if you're a Rick and Morty fan, that should make this show kind of interesting. The last major character to be co-created by Stan Lee, She-Hulk, is Jennifer Walters, an attorney and cousin of Bruce Banner, a.k.a. the Hulk. An emergency blood transfusion from her cousin gives Walters her powers, but unlike Banner Hulk, She-Hulk was able to keep her intelligence and personality when she hulked out. The project is just one of a handful of anticipated series Marvel Studios is working on for Disney+, Plus, with the Falcon and Winter Soldier, WandaVision, and Loki all in production and set to bow in the next year. Notice that they didn't really talk about Hawkeye there. Uh, poor Jeremy Renner. He's got some stuff going on. Anyway, Mansley also becomes the latest female talent to lead a Marvel project following in the footsteps of Brie Larson and Captain Marvel, bleh, and Scarlett Johansson in the upcoming Black Widow movie. Marvel head Kevin Feige has made it his mission to diversify the MCU, and this latest addition to the universe does just that. Best known for her Emmy-winning role in Orphan Black, Matt Maslany Mas Maslany have I been pronouncing her name wrong this whole time? Maslany is coming off her highly highly lauded role in HBO's Perry Mason opposite Matthew Reese. 
On the film side, she has been seen in the Lionsgate, Lionsgate pick Stronger and Destroyer. She appeared on Broadway opposite Brian Cranston and Tony Goldwyn in 2018's Network. She is repped by ICM Partners. So, uh, you know, it is now official. Tatiana Maslany, I could have sworn it was pronounced Mansley. Uh, Maslany is now uh, the official uh, She-Hulk. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. I wonder if uh, they're going to get Mark Ruffalo to kind of guest host on this and we're going to get to see some, uh, some origin story here, or if they're just going to jump right in. Now, as the article mentioned, this is kind of a broader effort by Kevin Feige to diversify the Marvel Universe, make it less male-focused, uh, uh, bringing in new uh, female superheroes. So they mentioned Captain Marvel, that's strictly on the movie side. Black Widow, that again, that's on the movie side. Uh, we're also going to be getting a Ms. Marvel uh, TV show, uh, so that's not to be confused with Captain Marvel. Ms. Marvel is basically, uh, you know, an entirely different character. And, uh, we're, you know, WandaVision is going to be kind of female-centric, even though it, it kind of centers on both, you know, um, the Scarlet Witch and uh, Vision. But overall, I think that this has the potential to be the most interesting of the female-oriented shows, in my opinion, uh, She-Hulk. Because it's going to kind of include like bits of legal drama, almost like a David E. Kelly type thing, uh, in addition to uh, Man Mas Maslany's. <laughs> I want to call her. I'm just going to call her Tatiana Mansley. Okay, uh, you know, forgive me. I if you guys ever listen to the Salty Nerd podcast, you know I'm terrible with names, so I'm just going to keep mispronouncing this one, and you guys can just point it out to me in the comments. So. Uh, I think uh, Mansley is going to bring a lot to this role. I think that she's a, a wonderful actress. I can't wait to see how, you know, she comes off in this. Hopefully it's not too try-hard. Hopefully they kind of write to her strengths. I know that the person leading the writer's room seems to be have a background in comedic writing. And I, I, I almost feel like uh, She-Hulk is kind of like an Ally McBeal type, you know, character where, you know, like that's the type of story we're going to be getting for this thing. It might not be like a big superhero tale. We're not going to know until the show comes out. But I think that this is uh, this definitely makes me more interested to watch the She-Hulk TV show than I previously was. Uh, what about you guys? Are you excited about She-Hulk? What do you think of this casting? Let me know in the comments. And as always, be sure to check us out on the Salty Nerd Podcast. You can go to saltynerdpodcast.com uh, to download our latest episodes and our back episodes. And if you want to check us out, uh, always subscribe to us on the YouTube channel. We're going to be hopefully uploading more videos on a regular basis. And if you'd like to support the podcast, you know, you can check us out uh, at saltynerdclub.com if you want to support us directly, or go to saltynerdstore.com and check out some of our merchandise. That's another great way to support us. Anyway, guys, this is Matt. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.